every strategy deployed by the armed forces have failed woefully. So seek external help from nations that have fought terrorism. Um, is that what you will also advise? Because it's, it does appear that we have not really won the war or we are not exactly winning the war against terrorism. I, um, help may be necessary. In fact, President Obasanjo once suggested that uh, we needed to sit with uh, the Sri Lankans and um, ask them how they were able to defeat terrorism in their country. Because the, the government of Sri Lanka fought against Tamil Tigers for 25 years. Tamil Tigers was a terrorist group. Different from what we see bandits do here. Bandits are just after the money. Terrorist groups are not set up simply to look for money, kidnap people and collect money from people. No. So, Obasan just suggested that we should uh, get in touch with the Sri Lankans, find out how they were able to win the war against terror in their country because Tamil Tigers was defeated to the last man. And since that defeat, Tamil Tigers has not constituted any threat to the sovereignty of Sri Lanka. When you hear people say, oh, terrorism can be defeated, this and that, it is people without a sense of history who will say things like that because the Algerians defeated terrorism when the Muslim Brotherhood won an election uh, and uh, the, the, the military regime, um, the military annulled it, they turned to terrorism. They were beheading journalists, beheading people all over the place. In the end, the army crushed them. The army crushed the group. And we've seen Sri Lanka to crush Tamil Tigers after more than 25 years of fighting. No one should come and tell us that you cannot defeat a terrorist group. We've seen the Iraqis, backed by American troops, defeat ISIS in Iraq. All of the communities that ISIS occupied in Iraq, including even oil-bearing communities, were taken back. No matter how big those communities were, Mosul, American troops provided support to uh, Iraqi soldiers and they defeated ISIS inside Iraq, chased them away from communities where they were constituting a nuisance. And the Americans didn't have to put boots on ground. They didn't have to even directly get involved in the war. They were providing tactical support. That's what they were doing. So. In our own case, when we are talking about uh, help, help will come in form of availability of weapons, making weapons available. It could also come in form of training for our troops. Because many people have said that our troops need serious training at this time. Right, before we change tack. So help can come in different dimensions. Before we change tack, the help you are looking at should be that of either training or supply, uh, um, supplying of weapons, but not them coming on the ground to, you know, to help us do away with these guys. I have suggested in the past that it worked with Boko Haram in 20, uh, 2015, just before the election. We used um, military contractors. Some people try to like, like to call them uh, mercenaries, but across the world, the use of military contractors is common, but they are, they are not called mercenaries. We are the ones there who have refused to move with the times that are calling them mercenaries. They came here from South Africa, brought in weapons that we did not have in the inventory of the Nigerian forces and used those weapons to push Boko Haram out of communities that they occupied in Bonu, Yobe, and Adamawa states. We also had Chadian soldiers on ground. 
Chadian soldiers were given some parts of Borno North, and Chadian soldiers quickly took back communities that Boko Haram occupied in some parts of Borno North. So I do not oppose even bringing um, uh, Chadian troops into our country because we brought them before and we achieved uh, the desired results. Yes, the Chargers lost so many of their, their soldiers, but we achieved the desired result and we were able to hold elections in 20, 2015. 